This is Bolt DIY. I'm running locally on my computer. And in this video, we are going to test Bolt DIY with Gemini 2.0 Pro. Gemini 2.0 was recently released by Google. And this is probably one of the best model for coding performance as they claim. So in this video, we are going to test that. And of course, it's free to use. We are going to use Gemini 2.0 Pro using OpenRouter.ai. OpenRouter is actually a platform where you can access all of these models. And you can see this Gemini Pro 2.0 was released on February 5, 2025 on OpenRouter. And it costs $0 for input and output tokens. Now, I have previously created a lot of videos about using Bold DIY locally on your computer using free large language models, but most of the times we use LM Studio, and that's why actually because we are using all of those large language models locally on our computer, the performance of Bold DIY is not that good with LM Studio because most of the time it's too slow and you are unable to create almost anything. So in this video, let's use the best large language model from Google for coding and see if Bold DIY performs better. We'll try to create a complete website will give it different prompts and see how it performs so before we start please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and also click on the like button as well all right first thing first so all right first thing first you need to download and install bold DIY locally on your computer i have covered that several times in my youtube videos but in this video i'll just give you like a short quick guideline that how you can install and download bold DIY locally on your computer just go to this url which is bolt.diy open that and it will actually reloads to this hub repository. Next, we just need to clone this repository and simply just you need to click on this drop down and then click on this link. So just copy this URL from here. Just this URL, just copy that or simply just copy it from here. After that, open any folder on your computer where you want to install Bold DIY. Simply just right click, click on open in terminal. And after that, just write this command, which is git clone and then paste that URL from there and then press enter. I have already installed that so I won't press enter. It will install Bold DIY like this on your computer. What you need to do, you need to simply just open that and then again open that inside your terminal. You can do that directly from your terminal but I just like because if you're a beginner you, you might get confused by running some commands so I just like recommend you using this. So just click on open in terminal directly and now it will actually open Bold DIY in your terminal. Next up, go back to your GitHub repository of Bold. Scroll down and come to this section. And in this section, which says running the application, just copy this command, copy that from there, and then paste that inside your terminal, just like the way actually I did. So in here, I actually just pasted that command here and just it, it just runs that command in here. After that, I'll just copy this command from here and then paste that here. So this is how it, I actually pasted that. And once you have done that, it will actually take some time. It will take maybe like five, 10 minutes to download and install all of the dependencies and everything that is required to run Bold DIY. And once you have done that, simply just copy this command, this one, PNP run dev, and then run that command again. And then this is it will actually give you this local host url just copy this local host url and then you can open that in your chrome browser uh, officially they recommend you using uh, chrome canary browser uh, doesn't matter if you don't have that you can simply just download that from from google just look for chrome canary browser this is a chrome canary browser you can simply just download it from google once you have done that just open this local host url in your browser just like that when you'll open it for the first time it will just show you a blank screen and if you just refresh that it will just open normally and after that it will show you these options to add like access these api keys from here in here just look for open router just click on open router and after open router just simply click on this drop down and look for gemini 2.0 experimental model because experimental one is free so gemini flash light gemini flash 2.0 so you, what you need to do, you need to simply just get this Gemini Pro 2.0 experimental. So let's just use Gemini Pro 2.0 experimental. It has a big context. So I think this should be good enough for us to like create a landing page. Let's see. So simply just click on that. And after that, let's just give it a prompt to create something. Let's start with a simple prompt and see how it works. So I'll just open my speech to text. You can open that on your Windows or on your Mac. I'll just press Windows key plus H and it will just open this for me please create a landing page for my dental clinic create this in next.js use tailwind css create a professional and modern design let's just see like what it comes of it so i'll just press enter the request processing your request customer error, missing api key for open router provider all right sorry i just missed one step you need to provide open router api key in here so what you need to do you need to simply just go to open router and just create an api key in here so just go to open router and log in with your google there is no you don't you don't need to attach any bank account details or anything simply just click on create api key and then name it something and then you 
can just create that and then after that simply just copy that api key from there and then just paste that api key here press enter and now it should be good enough to start so let me just copy that prompt from here let me just start a new chat and then paste that here let me just switch back to gemini pro 2 experimental and paste that command and press enter so it should work now perfect so it is working now okay so apparently speed is okay not too bad because the problem that we have with bolt diy usually is speed because it's too slow yeah i mean still is slow it is just running this command first first of all to create our next project so then install tailwind and initialize tailwind css as well so let's just wait for it to finish everything to run this command so okay so it is asking us to would you like to use typescript i want to use typescript okay all of that just press enter enter all right perfect so now it is it has created a basic next.js project which is good it has created this directory dental file clinic app okay that's fine now it is creating these files as well so that's fine this is good speed is okay for so far and uh, there was an error i'll just click on ask bot to fix this error so it will just now fix that error so yeah speed is fine i mean i'm not too bothered by speed at the moment so it has no apparently two next year's projects in here okay so it, i think apparently it has messed up so let's just give it an, another try now it is creating the third one come on okay let's just give it a try let me just copy that prompt from that previous project in here let's not mention xs let's just like give it a prompt as it is without mentioning anything about next yes so i'll just do that landing page for my landing clinic okay all right so i'll just press enter i'll said please create a landing page for my clinic okay fine now it is going to use white that is another framework so that's fine let's see what it does i mean by default if we don't mention any tech stack so what it builds in that case so hopefully it should be fine now but as you can see like we are using gemini pro 2.0 speed is fine i mean because the Previously, whenever we use, okay, so yeah, this is what it has created. It's an ugly website, to be honest, but it has created something which is which is amazing. Which is, I mean, we should appreciate that. Okay, let's just ask it to enhance that design. So please enhance this design. I can see there are a lot of sections with black background. Please create the entire design in a seamless way. Make it more professional. Let's not give it any like particular guidelines to like design like specific color combinations. This is like give it this like general guidelines. Next, we actually gonna give it a particular guidelines as well, but let's just for now give it a general guideline. All right, so it has just updated that. Yeah, I mean, design is still ugly. We cannot, there is no like, I mean, we have to accept that design is still ugly. Okay, let's just give it a proper design and then see how it actually reacts to, reacts to that design. So let me just look for a design maybe on, let me just go to Dent Clinic. Let's just look for something on Google. And let me just go there. Let me just copy something from here, not here. Okay, let's just copy this design let me just copy that take screenshot you can use this plugin which is called go full page just copy this plugin and then it will actually allow you to take a screenshot let me just copy this screenshot paste that inside bold please see the attached screenshot please create our design like this screenshot please follow the color combination follow the text style the font style and overall design pattern another way of doing this actually we can use something like copy coder but but copy coder is actually so we can't really use that so because it will cost like 15 dollars to just like use a tool that will convert this image into kind of a prompt so you can totally use chat gpt or you can use deep seek or you can simply just input that image into deep seek and chat gpt and then ask it to like create a detailed prompt it, it can do that we can try that in a minute but let's see for now what it creates for us but i i'm happy actually using this way because this way it's much faster because on lm studio it depends on what are the specs of your computer if you don't have good specs if you don't have good gpu the llm will not run that smoothly on your computer and then you'll end up having like very slow experience so that's not something that we want okay so it has now updated that it has now created a better i mean a better design okay cool that's better comparatively but still is far away from what we actually want okay now let's just do another experiment let's just look for another design and then what we're gonna do we're gonna ask chat gpt or gemini yeah let me just take a screenshot let me just download that let's just go to maybe deep seek or you can use that gpt if you want to use let me just create a new one oh sorry hold on let me just i cannot actually do that with the, please see that as screenshot this is screenshot of a website i want to create exactly similar kind of website design in bolt new it's a coding 
agent please create a prompt for it okay it has not extracted text from there is that too big maybe screenshot is too big okay this is use chat let me just press enter and now what it will do it will just create a prompt for me and then i'll just enter that prompt in bold audio way so it's actually asking to create using next or that's fine it works fine by using this open router like by using this api key it works fine it's usable now because while using it with like olama or llm studio it was not usable at all. all right let me just go back let me just create a new chat yeah this this is good enough to like start you can actually import that in cursor maybe another a code, coding agent you can actually like carry on customizing it okay let's start a new chat and then let's just ask it to create this press enter and see if it actually takes a detailed prompt a long prompt because it's a very detailed lengthy prompt because it has a bigger context window so it should be fine to like do that so okay so now it has asked us to create okay fine just make sure that you keep an eye on bolt terminal because it will ask you to like press enter enter to accept like some things so all right apparently it has created something basic all right let's just see it is creating all of these files it is creating different components image gallery testimonials dental implant center promotions services zero section header section perfect that's, that's what you want exactly so it is actually working fast enough to i mean we can this is easily usable seriously now it is fast comparatively and we can use like this kind of like free api keys to build something so if you want to use bold idea web free i think this is your way to use it try to create something else Please create a task manager app or my day-to-day -day tasks. Build an authentication system as well and create a complete front end. Let's see if it does that. So it is creating this invite. That's fine. Yep, it is creating like good enough code. Speed is good. It's more optimized this time. There's an error. I'll just click on that and it will just solve that error. Yeah, this is good. I mean, this is much enhanced version of Bolt. It is a better way to use this way. Like with, okay, perfect. So it has created a basic login and basic registration. I'll just give it a password. Should be one, two, three, four, five. Click on login. And now it has created this title. Yeah, okay, cool, fine. Yeah, it's, it's very basic, it's horrible, I know. We can create much better, but it does write code. So yeah, I think uh, you should use if you want to use Bold DIY. This is not the this is not the most recommended way of using like developing something useful. But if you want to use Bold DIY, if you don't want to spend any money on any of these A code editors out there, I think you use it, use it this way. This is good enough. I think Gemini Pro 2.0 is good a combination with Bold DIY. If you're like interested to build landing pages or websites or like small tools or small projects, just like passion projects, it won't create anything very professional. But it's good enough to like start with and to like have a proper understanding of instead of like using bold at a new you can use bold if you are into like serious development and you want to like build some serious tools some serious websites some like serious projects then i recommend using something like cursor something like windsurf but cursor wins actually on in all of these tools cursor is the champion so far so so yeah it's, it's a good start you can actually like try this and just do let me know in comment section what you think about it if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel please do and i see you next video bye, -bye.